Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Nisharma and today I am going to deal with the Lodka Volterra model. It is one of the hot topics for your competitive examination, especially CSI and NET, GET and other uh, competitive examination related with the life sciences. So what actually it is? Lota Volterra model actually it uh, shows relationship between the prey and predator but in this topic I will basically deal with the competitive or inter specific relationship between the same species or intra specific competitive relations related with the uh, Lotka Volterra model. This model was proposed by A.J. Lotka and V. Volterra since named as Lotka Volterra model. So, uh, what happened when two species of the same race will fight for the same resources then there will be uh, definitely some uh, fact of one species over the other depending on the uh, priorities or the uh, or their effectiveness toward their consumption of the resources or their niche uh, their effectiveness in their niche area so this is known as interspecific competitions and uh, I will explain this by using the Lotka Volterra model. Suppose when there is no competition among the species, on that case it will, ju I will just follow the logistic growth rate which is dn by dt is equals to rn into k minus n where k is the carrying capacity of the test species and its particular niche and n is the number of the individuals. So when there will be no growth uh, uh, rate or uh, rate or we can say when dn by dt is equals to 0 and that case n will be equal to the carrying capacity or we can say that in that case the number of individuals will reach up to its carrying capacity. But what happened when there will be the two species having competition. Suppose there are two species, uh, species 1 and species 2 and in the absence of their competition in between them, they will simply follow this logistic growth rate as shown here. But when there will be competition in between that, in that case what will happen? The uh, species 1 growth rate will be influenced by the number of species by the alpha factor and species 2 will be affected by species 1 by the beta factor and this ultimately will lead to the competitive exclusion or Gauss's law. What does it mean? When there is a competition between two species then two conditions can occur. In the first conditions uh, either one of the species will extinct, another will survive or they undergo partition. Suppose here is the tree where the two species of the bird is joining there, species 1 and species 2, uh, yellow dots represent the species 1 and blue dots represent the species 2. In the first conditions, the existence of one of any one of the species, in that case what will happen, the dominant one will lead to the extinction of the recessive one. So, this can, can be one of the conditions, but they can both uh, coexist. In that case, they undergo partition and they can feed, uh, if they are feeding on the same, uh, uh, same uh, food and uh, in that case, what will they do? They will partition itself in their position, in their uh, dwelling region and they will now uh, uh, feed on their respective area and this will lead to their coexistence and by the partitioning of their uh, niche. So in this way, competitions can uh, overcome or it can survive or we can coexist. Now come to the Lotka Volterra Act. So I have discussed this formula that we, when there will be the two species in competition between the two in the same niche, on that case, alpha represents the effect of species 2 on 1. Suppose, what does actually alpha and beta means? Suppose two uh, times the species to one will consume the same amount of resources as consumed by one species. So what does it mean? The effect of species two will be just half of that of the species one. So here alpha will be half or 0.5. Similarly, we can say that suppose species two is consuming only the half of the resources as consumed by species two. Or we can, oh sorry, uh, species 2 is consuming twice as the, uh, the, the resources consumed by species 1. On that time, the alpha will be 2 times. Or we can say that two, uh, the, two, uh, the effect of one individual will be twice on that of the species 1. 
So this way, uh, alpha and beta is representing the effect of spaces, spaces 1 over the spaces 2 or spaces 2 over the spaces 1. Now, suppose when there is zero growth incline rate or when the growth rate of uh, the spaces is zero. On that case, what we can say that uh, the space in the case of spaces 1, dn by dt is equals to 0 which will be equals to r1 and 1 into k1 minus n1 and minus alpha n2 divided by k1. Uh, here uh, we can uh, take two uh, dissimilarities as a 0 as the one is r1 and 1 is equals to 0 or we can say this whole term as equals to 0. Now here we want the uh, want the result in terms of the carrying capacity. So we will take k1 minus n1 minus alpha n2 as a 0. So let's plot the graph between these two. What we will have for the species 1 on x axis and species 2 on the y axis, we will have when n2 is equals to 0. In that case, n1 will be equals to its carrying capacity. It also makes sense that when the species 2 is 0, it means there will be no competitions. On that time, species 1 will survive up to its carrying capacity. And uh, when n1 itself will be 0, on that time, k2 will survive by k1 factor that of the alpha. It depends on the alpha or the influence of species 1 over the species 2. So this is known as zero growth incline graph. Similarly, for the species 2, we can plot the similar graph when the species 1 will be 0. On that time, n2 will grow up to its carrying capacity and when n2 will be 0, on that time, uh, uh, on that time n1 will grow up to its k2 by beta factor. So, this was quite simple when we are comparing a species 2 and a species 1 in different graph. So, what when we will take the similar graph on the species 1 and a species 2? On that, ca on that case, uh, we, uh, before that, we will, I would like to call, uh, to say you that when we will take any point on the zero inclined growth of, uh, then on that time, the growth rate will be zero. And we can say that uh, at when uh, space, when we have any point on this inclined uh, graph, on that time, species one will be this much and species two will be this much. Now move to any point below this line. Suppose this is the point where we want to calculate the number of species 1 and species 2. At that time, and the species 1 is this much and as this time, species 2 will this time and this much. So, when we move towards the isocline line, on that time, species 1 and species 2 population both will increase. So, resultant we will have toward the isocline line. So, any point when we move toward the isocline line, both species 1 and species 2 will, will increase. But analogous to this, any point above the line will lead to the decrease of species 1 and species 2 and resultant will be the decrease of the, both the species as we will move toward the isocline line. Similarly, for the species 2 also, we can have all the same result. When we will have any point below the isocline line, then the species 1 and species 2 both will increase and when we will above this, both the species will decrease. So we are comparing these two species one by one. But one when we uh, when we will compare both the species on the same graph, on that case, how can we predict the result, or how can we say that which species will win, which species will lose, or which are, or whether there is a chances of coexistence or not? On that, in these conditions, we have three areas where we can predict the result. So in the area one. The both the uh, the area is below both the isocline of species one represented by a red a red line and uh, also below the isocline of species two. So both the species will increase and below this in this area, and the area which is both above the both isocline of one and isocline of two, both the species will decrease. But in the third reason, in here reason. This is above the isocline of species 1, so it will decrease, but this is below the isocline of species 2. So, species 2 will increase and it will increase up to its carrying capacity. So, in this case, species 1 will extinct because of the competition from the species 2. 
Similarly, when the isocline of species 2 is below the isocline of species 1, in this case also we have three area where we can compare the growth rate. So, in the area 1, in area 1 both the species will grow, in the area 2 both the species will decrease, but species 3 the, as if this is below the isocline of species 1 and above the isocline of species 2, species 1 will win and it will grow up to its carrying capacity. So, this will lead to the extinction of species 2. So, these were the two conditions when these two, uh, two lines were not crossing each other. What when they will intercept at any point? So, there also can be two conditions. In the condition 1, when the carrying capacity of both the species is at the low intercept. You can see here, the species 2 carrying capacity and uh, species 1 carrying capacity is at the lower intercept. On that case, we have four area to analyze. Now, in area 1, both will increase. Area 2, both will decrease as these are below and above the isocline of both. But in this area, if you will see, this is the above the isocline of K2. So, K2 will decrease or the spaces 2 will decrease while the spaces 1 will increase up to its carrying capacity. And in this area, which is above the isocline of species 1, so as species 1 will decrease and species 2 will increase and it will reach up to its carrying capacity at this region. So, in these conditions, both so in these conditions, what will happen? Either species one, uh, either of the species one or species two will survive, or we can see that both of the species can coexist together. In last of the condition or, uh, uh, conditions, when the carrying capacity is above the intercept, or the we can say at the higher intercept, when both the carrying capacity at the higher intercept, here it will be higher intercept. When both the carrying capacity is at higher intercept, on that condition also we have four area to analyze. In the area one, both will increase. Area two, both will decrease. But in the in this area, you can see that it is above the isocline of one and below the isocline of two. So it the resultant will be the uh, in, increase of the species two. And in this area, which is above the species 2 and below the species 1, so species 1 will survive and uh, uh, 2 will not. Whereas in this area, only species 2 will survive. So, we can say that either of the species will come to, uh, uh, to extinct. It depends on the alpha and beta factor. So, all these were all about the Lotka Volterra model. So, anyone having problem in English language can switch to the Hindi from the link I have given in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe and share my channel so that I can give you my update view with the more and more such topics. Better you click on the bell just uh, 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 straight to the subscription button so that you can get the notification as soon as I will upload the new video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.